Hey y'all, coming to you from the Scotty D Travel and Charity Roadshow, Auctions America Park in 40 in Fort Wayne, Indiana. I got a 48 Ford F1 pickup, street ride, hot ride, cool ride. Let me get the camera turned around. We'll take a look at it. Joe, how are you, brother? All right, how are you, Scotty? Not too bad. Tell me, uh, you enjoying the show? Yeah, it's the first time up here. It's pretty good. It's a beautiful day out. Lots right. of nice cars. Right. Where are you from? Fort Wayne. Cool. Cool, man. We appreciate you coming out. Yeah, no problem. Thank you. Good. Tell me a little bit about your hot rod. Um, it's a 1948 Ford F1 pickup. Um, it's chopped three inches. It's channeled six inches. The cab's extended five and a half. Now, where'd you extend that at? Behind the doors. Okay. So that was just a really skinny post back yeah, there. Yeah, it's supposed to be about an inch wide behind the door. No, mine's, mine's around six. Yeah, no, it looks good. That, that, Thank that you. was a nice addition. What else have you done to it? Obviously, a ton. <laughs> yeah, a ton. Uh, obviously, the fenders have been removed, which created all the work in the front. The whole front of the truck has been pinched and shortened. Uh, the, all the lower hood sides, the grill surround, the grill, everything is all handmade out of 18-gauge uh, sheet metal. No, you'd say, now some, you know, some people don't come to car shows every week. Joe, what, is, what do you say it's been pinched? What's that mean? Uh, the hood is narrowed at the front than more than it's it should be. It's actually lower. It, it's narrower. Narrower. So it's like a wedge shape as you're looking at the front. I got you. I got you. Cool. Man, it turned out. You've been a Ford fan a long time? I like, I like them all. I just cool happened to come cool. across one. Yeah, yeah, cool is cool. That's what I'm saying. What um, are you running in it? Uh, it's got a small block Chevy, yep. three three deuces on it. I got gotcha. you. Do you have any uh, thoughts of putting a Ford in it? Um, not not really. Not that I'm in against it. I just it's just built out of leftover parts. I happen right. to have the GM frame, right. the GM right. drive right. line, right. and here's what you got. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, obviously it wasn't cheap to put it together, but you were you were getting using up parts basically. Yep. What it's can the, I make with some parts I got sitting around? Yeah, here? but it's all I'm leftovers. Running. Is this what you do? Uh, I do this at home. I do body work for a living. I got gotcha. you. Who did your interior work? A uh, guy named Tom Davis, Interiors by Thomas in Auburn, Indiana did it for me. Right. Oh, that's nice, man. Thank you. What's that dash like out of a 50-something Chevy? 59 Chevy. Yeah. I couldn't get the exact year, but in a wheel, what's that? I like 62 something? It's, it's actually a, a reproduction of a 59. It's 15 inches diameter instead yeah. of the 17 that the that's factory nice. had. Yeah, yeah, you don't yeah. like that big old thing. Yeah, you don't feel like you're driving a school bus that way. And then this is where you did the extension at? Yeah, right, right there behind the door. Right here? Yes. So you just added that? Yep. And you were able to keep that line? Yeah, that, that was the point of doing it there. I, right. I wouldn't disturb the factory line with a reveal around that. I can't tell you did that. I think you just did something there that just really added to it. But, you know, and especially somebody that's going to be, that's going to see a lot of these cars or be familiar with them, is going to be, what is the difference from that truck? Why does that look cool? But I don't know what I'm looking at, you know? I love how you have the exhaust coming out right there behind the cab. Yeah, I'd, and then you Frenched it in or whatever, you know, cased it in and made it all smooth and all too, right? Yep. Dude, I love it, man. Thank you. And then you didn't go big bling tires, ain't 18s and 20s. What are you running on that? It's just 15 by eights in the back and 15 by four and a half in the front. Just Dude, look at that, man. Who did that? I did. You did. Yep. What'd you do it with? That is a uh, piece of quarter-inch plate steel made by a company in Detroit called Speed Colt. Right. They do CNC plasma cutting, and I bought it, and it's actually bonded to the tailgate. And then you, what, filled in around the cracks, so it was all yeah. smooth and all? Well, yeah, well, yeah, use, using the, the panel adhesive before it dries, you smooth it out so it looks like it's stamped, which is the effect I was trying to get. That's exactly looks like. That's <laughs> what I was getting. It's a bead roller or something. I thought you were no, some kind of no. metal worker. No, I like how you, I'm guessing that you've done something down here too? Yeah. And it and all? Yeah, I, I built the pan, the, the lower bed sides are all extended. Basically what I had done before I realized it, I, I added a hood line, I added a body line to the hood. So if you watch the cab line under the mirror, it goes all the way into the hood now. Right. And I brought the bed rail up to match the cab line. Oh, okay. Yeah, so yeah, the I line is that. straight all the way yeah. through, which. How long do you think about this? A long time, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, I think about it all the time, actually. Yeah, still? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, I have a couple other projects at home, so I'm always thinking about stuff. Who are you working on now? Uh, 38 Plymouth Coupe. Oh, yeah? Yeah. That's not something people do every day. No. Again, it was just one of those things I came across it and the price was right. Right. Oh, man, that's cool, dude. Thank you. I love it. And like I was telling you, I really like what you did here. That looks modern, especially the way the Ford is, is printed down there. It looks it looks late model, you know. I, I, that's that's kind of amusing. That's actually the factory trim for the hood. Yeah, no, but it did to me it just, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. It just it, it gave it a modern touch to it. Um, you know, it, I guess it would have originally been on there, but to me, oh it's cool. You mean this was all this was done too? That was all yes. up in there? Are you sure you're not pulling my leg out? I'm not pulling your leg. I put that on there so the guys who know these trucks know that's what it is. Right. And it still can, because the truck, 
the truck is completely different than the front, obviously. It's supposed to be big and square across the front, have like two nostrils on the hood. Right. And then the grill would be way across. The, and pinching the front confuses people. I thought that, that stock trim would kind of give them a direction right, of what right, it actually right, is. Right, right, right. That, and I, I've always liked that trim. I thought it was just enough to add something but not be overpowering. No, I agree with you. The whole thing's cool, but I told you, and I, I still say that that trim piece, to whatever reason, just really pops for me. You got to love three deuces. Yeah. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? That's there again, the, a little throwback, right? That's, yeah. that's one of the only pieces that wasn't a leftover. It's like, okay, I got to have three carbs. Right. Man, that's nice. Thank and you. see, that's the only place you really put any color. You know, everything else is kind of blacked out, and then and, and just the interior pops out of it, and then when you open that up, no. That, that was no. the whole point. Everything yeah. is supposed to be just subtle. Right. Yeah, that's what I like too, man. That is cool. And then you left the body tags. Are those original body tags on our uh, repops? The, the upper one is a repop, and the lower one is a custom that actually has stuff to what yeah, is built with on the, the truck. truck now. Yeah. Oh, that's cool, dude. No, anybody we need to give a shout out to before we go? Uh, not off the top of my head. Say hi to my parents, I guess. Yeah. They're, they're over there and behind us, probably going crazy. Yeah, yeah. Well, tell them, you know, that's. I, I told you I could build a cool hot rod. Oh, they, they've always known, but. Yeah, cool. They have more confidence in me than I do, so. Good, good. Joe, thanks so much, man. Yeah, thank Very you. Very good job. Thank you. Folks, there you go. What is it? What did, what did I say this? A 1948 Ford F1. See, I said all those words in between the intro, so now I forgot. <laughs> it's a 1948 Ford F1, folks, from the Scotty D Travel and Charity Roadshow, Auctions America, Fort Wayne, Indiana. Hope you all enjoyed it. See you.